Alrighty. My earth signs, my Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. All right, this is going to be your weekly for the week of September 18th. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I literally forgot what I was going to say. Anyways, we're going to do a little bit of tarot. We're going to do some life oracle. We're also going to check in to see who you may be dealing with around your energy. And then we're going to do um, some mindful messages from the universe as well um take it easy okay i just literally heard that all right so i just heard for you guys take it easy so for you guys it's going to be a really important thing to take it easy this week whether that be something going on alignment wise or whatnot but i'm just hearing like take it easy all right so let's see what else we got going on for my Taurus Virgo capricorns this is for my tiktok followers my instagram followers my youtube followers and anybody else that may come across it that needs it some of you are definitely dealing with somebody that you have a special connection with that you want so badly, but you're not pursuing. So I just want to put that out there. What else for my Taurus Virgo Capricorns? I just want to light more of it for each element I've had them burning and I want them to burn okay perfect Taurus Virgo Capricorn Some of you really need to learn to work with people <laughs> like you really do some of you really need to learn to work with people um yeah see we have this love energy here we have this love energy it's almost kind of like it could be your person thinking this about you my earth signs or you thinking about this with your a person or whatever but i just have this energy here that's coming across where it's like some of you really want to pursue something romantically with somebody, but it's like you don't know how to go about it. You know, like it's like you just don't know how to go about it. Like you don't know how do I go forward to this person? Like how do I, you know, let them know I, I want them, but it's like I can't do this right now. It's, a, it's, a, it's just this vibe here. Like it literally is. I do feel like either you or this person, it's almost kind of like they want to just really fucking take charge this week and they just want to come in and they want to come in fast. So I don't know. It's almost kind of feeling like it's probably you guys, my earth signs, but I just feel like this energy where somebody wants to come in real quick here, you know, and really try to establish a friendship and try to get back on somebody's good graces and really try to fucking really just be like that masculine type of fucking energy is what I'm getting here for some of you. Like just wanting to come in and be like, no, like you're mine and nobody else is and I want you and I want this word, but it's just like you don't know how to do it. And also too, it's like, you're worried to do it and go forward with it because you're not even sure if you can even be stable with it. That's what I'm getting here for a lot of you. Like, it's just, it's a crazy kind of thing that's happening here. Some of you definitely do have some sort of celebratory thing popping up here um, in the sense of like, there could be some sort of get together that some of you might have to go to this week or just a gathering of friends, but there's something happening here as well with that, that I'm getting. Um... Almost kind of like if there will be some sort of like reunion happening, right? It could be with your person. It could be, like I said, at this, you know, get together that I'm feeling here for some of you. But yeah, this is like this energy of like just wanting to just take charge and fucking rush in here and really kind of be like a leader of some of some sort here. All right. Um, so just keep that in mind. I guess that's what's popping up for you guys here for this week is <laughs> the love energy. That's hilarious. You see how things just flow for people? Yeah, some of you could not be talking to this person or there could be minimal conversation going on, but there's definitely this vibe where it's either no communication or there's been slight, slight, slight communication that's popping through here. Let go and move on. Oh, yeah. See, some of you need to let the path go and move forward because what this is what's happening. This is what I'm getting, right? If you don't, 
it's almost kind of like if you don't let the past go and you keep holding on to the energy, it'll never come back. Does that make sense? Like if you don't let a person really truly grow and do what they need to do by you harboring onto the energy and not releasing and letting go, you're going to you're going to be miserable for one and for two, the person's not going to be able to grow like they need to grow because you're harboring to the energy. You keep giving into the energy. You keep being like, "Oh my gosh, okay, yes, I get." No. If you keep doing that, nothing will change. You'll never see a change. You have to allow the past to be the past and let it can't keep you from moving forward. A lot of you are feeling like it's like it keeps you stuck. It's like you can't move forward. You have to let it go. You have to let it go because you have to let God and the universe do what they need to do. Like let the energy sit, let it do what it needs to do. You know what I mean? If you don't let it do what it needs to do, you'll never see progress. You know, like let's say for example, maybe you want somebody that's in a karmic relationship. Or vice versa. Maybe you're in a karmic relationship. It's like you want somebody, but it's like you can't have them. If you don't let the energy lie and just let God and the universe handle it, there will never be anything that comes to fruition with it. Do you know what I mean? And especially when people are dealing with trauma. What else? Drop the excuses. When you drop the excuses, you'll start seeing results, right? So some of you, again, you're making the excuse of like, oh, I can't. No, I can't. I can't forget about this person because of this. Oh, I can't do it because of... if you keep making the excuses, you're not going to see the result that you want to see. Truly. That's what I'm saying. Like, truly. And then some of you need to challenge yourself. Like, some of you really need to challenge yourself. Like, some of you, it's like you set limits on your potential where you feel like, well, I already did this and I already made this. Like, this is what I'm, I'm going to do. I'm not going to try to do anything else because I'm not going to try to add anything else to my plate. If you don't challenge yourself day to day to stretch, to do bigger and better, again, you'll always be stuck. Your energy will always be stagnant. You don't want your energy to be stagnant. A person wants their energy to be, to vary day to day. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we have down days. Sometimes we have great days. But guess what? Every day you should always push. Every day you should always try to be better than you were yesterday. What about a person that they deal with? What about a person that they deal with? A person that they deal with. Yep, what did I say? Time to focus on yourself and leave the past in the past, right? In order for people to truly grow and expand. And look at how funny, how similar they look. Do you see this? Do you see how kind of similar the pattern looks? What did I say? What did I say? Oh, this one literally flipped over over here on the side. Yeah, some of you see, some of you keep reminiscing about the past. It's literally popping. Literally, I just said that. I'm telling you, literally, I was just saying that. Like, it's like, Learn from your past, right? You can reminisce and you can kind of, you know, think about the fun memories and everything and think about maybe memories that you can make in the future. But if you don't let it go and that way it's like new energy won't be able to produce. You know what I mean? Like if you don't let it go, new energy won't be able to be produced here. So just be mindful of that, my earth signs, okay? What mindful message do we have? next week is next sunday is actually my nail appointment i can't believe that it's already here because i go once oh no i know why it's because literally this time is three weeks that's right because my girl's going on vacation to take her mom back to her country so you guys also got you guys gotta nope First of all, this one is not really one, but it says, but wait, there's more, which is exactly what I've been saying about letting the past go. Anyways, you guys got release together and morning rituals. So today I release limiting beliefs, harmful thoughts, toxic patterns, and anything out of alignment. I am ready to for transformation and welcome to shift. I'm creating space for a new chapter filled with love, abundance, and amazing opportunities. Hello. 
I love working together with others and how it makes once impossible dreams possible. I see there is strength in unity and how much we can accomplish together. Asking for help is not weak. It's powerful. And in the morning, I will take time to tune in myself to set high vibrational rituals that will help me lead a good day. I pay attention to the morning habits that don't serve me and change them for the ones that do. Love you guys. See you next week.